Irish National Stud, one of the biggest studs in Ireland, as a new stallion this year. Le nouvel étalon de l'Irish National Stud, celui que tout le monde attend comme une nouvelle star, c'est Phoenix of Spain. Patrick, first, can you tell us about the stellar career of Phoenix of Spain that you have recruited way before his Group One win? Yeah, I suppose it's, a, it's an exciting horse to have here. Um, he won the Acom Stakes at York as a two run. That's when we, fr I suppose, first really burst onto our minds. Um, and then he went on to finish second to Two Darn Hot in the Champagne Stakes, so he got the closest to Two Darn Hot too. And then was second in the Verton Futurity Stakes to Magna Grecia and beat Circus Maximus that day. So he was a high class two year old. Um, Group one place, so he was sort of a horse that we we fell in love with when we first saw him um, and knew we wanted to buy him. So managed to work closely with um, his um, owners uh, Anne and Tony, and uh, with the agents Matt Holdsworth and Jeffrey Howson to actually secure a deal for him. So um, it was an exciting winter to have a horse like him to go into 2019 with, and for him to win the Irish 2000 Guineas by three and a half lengths, beating Two Darn Hart, Magna Grecia, Stella Field just on our doorstep at the Curra was, was incredible. A great day for the farm um, and a great day for us all in general because it's it's a lovely story. There's lots of lovely people that are involved with him um, and they're going to be a part of his, his career at Stud. So exciting days and exciting times for us for 2020. Phoenix of Spain, donc gagnant des Acomp Stakes à deux ans. C'est là, c'est après cette victoire que euh, l'Irish National Stud l'a acheté. Il a gagné ensuite à trois ans les 2000 Guinées par trois longueurs devant le champion Too Darn Hot, un superbe cheval qui sera très soutenu par ses propriétaires et qui l'Irish National Stud travaille étroitement. You talk about his owners. We saw these owners at Deauville uh, buying big pedigree, big mares to support him. Will he be supported by high class mares? Uh, what did you expect? Uh, as a how many mares, what is the quality for this horse? Yeah, well, we're, the support's been fantastic. I suppose he's been in people's minds ever since he won the Irish 2000 Guineas. And as such, uh, support's been fantastic for him. So he's going to cover a full book. I'd imagine around 140 mares for him this year, which is uh, very exciting. Um, Anne and Tony certainly purchased a mare of high caliber for him, Jellicle Ball, for 510,000, and she's going to be mated him for the foreseeable future. Um, but we've got great syndicate holders in him. Um, SF Bloodstock are going to send him nine mares. The Irish National Stud are going to send him nine mares. The likes of Tina Kill, China Horse Club, uh, Victor Timoshenko, all committed to him already, and the likes of Kildara as well. So it's exciting times that he's going to get a serious book of mares in his first year. Great numbers as well as the caliber in there as well. Oh, donc des juments très bonnes, il va saillir 140 juments. Et regardez, il ne veut plus rentrer dans son box, notre petit Phoenix of Spain. Un modèle impressionnant, un fils de Lopé de Vega gagnant des 2000 Guinées irlandaises qui sera supporté par 9 juments de l'Iris National Stone, 9 juments de SF Bloodstock. Regardez, il ne veut pas rentrer et bientôt il va rentrer dans la saison monde, ce champion. On se donne rendez-vous très vite avec lui sur les pistes.